Let's continue tonight with a double dose of our winter sports previews. Lots of teams to get to before the season starts this Friday. The Cocalico girls basketball squad, they are going through some major changes this year. A new section to play in and a major contributor on offense lost to graduation. The Eagles have lots of talent coming back and are confident in their team unity to pull off another successful season. I think the chemistry is going to be a big strength on defense. Team defense is going to be good. Uh, we have to look to replace Marissa's scoring. That's always going to be a challenge, but, you know, someone's going to have to step up. We did lose Marissa. We did lose, like, good powerhouse, but we have a lot coming back. We have a lot of teamwork, a lot of communication, and it's really starting to come back. And we are in shape. He's definitely running us, but um, we're ready. We're, we're excited. A lot of us have been playing together for a while. Like, we only lost a few seniors last year, so I think one of our strengths will be like working together. We can already see it in practice. We're talking, and it just looks awesome. It's the dawn of a new day for those Cucalico Eagles trying to build off of last year's success that saw them make the LL League tournament and the District 3 tournament as the 11 seed. Now they're heading down to Section 3 to take on the likes of Donegal and Lampeter Strasburg. Tough opponents indeed. So Coach DiMatteo will be drilling the fundamentals over and over and over again. Wait for your defender. Here we go. His motto has always been defense. Always. We practice it. We do it every day. We, it's drilled into our minds. Yeah, we run. We do everything. But it all comes back to defense. Defense. Definitely defense. Basically, the first whole day of practice, all we did was defense, which is good because if you have good defense, then it will transition into offense. And what a vacancy the Lady Eagles will have to fill as they lost their 1,000-point scorer Marissa Gingrich to graduation. Lots of talent coming back, though, with juniors Emily White and Megan Gingrich, plus lone senior Natalie Sikanik. Kukalika will have to find that cohesiveness right away as the great unknown stares them down. It's very different. I mean, it's a whole new world. We're used to the effort of the CVs kind of things and the crossover games against Township. Um, so now we have the Peckways and the Columbias and all that, but, you know, basketball is basketball. So we'll get out there, we'll check out and see what they do, and we'll, we'll do what we do best. I think we're going to be a whole different team this year, which is kind of good just because we're going to be playing all different teams too. So I think it's going to be different, but it'll be fun to see how everything turns out. If we play our hardest every game, day in, day out, I think we'll be fun. And it's a great start to the season for Kukalika. The ladies are part of our season opening doubleheader as they take on former Section 2 rival Ephrata on Wednesday, December 10th, live right here on BRC 11.